Hi, so as it's the summer here in the UK, it's actually the beginning of July, I'm just going to show you what to do with all this excess lovely soft fruit that you might come across. You might have strawberries, raspberries, berries, currants, plums, there's abundance of this um, around. And you might be all brilliant, go and pick loads and then it's starting to go a bit mushy and what do you do with it? So let's make jam or compote. It's a way of preserving the fruit, it's great to use. Jam will last forever, not forever, but maybe a year or so, or two or three. Um, but compote uh, is a lot less sugar, it's great to pour on ice cream, it's great to use with you know anything on your fruits for your morning breakfast. So, um, and what people don't realize is how easy it is to make. Basically, if you're making jam, the ratio is one to one. So using the same weight of soft prepared fruit. So when I say prepared, I mean you've taken the hulls and green bits off the um, strawberries, you've taken the stones out of plums, you've taken the stalks out of the um, raspberries, and then the same weight of sugar. Now you don't need to use all those jam sugars and all that. They have pectin in it, it just helps it set, but to be honest, the faff of going out to get that, just use any kind of combination of sugars you have. If you want compote, it's a lot less sugar. Now, when you make a jam, you'll notice how much sugar goes in. It makes you think, crikey. So compote is a lot less. So you're using about 10% of um, uh, the sugar to the fruit. So 500 grams of prepared fruit and between 50 and 100 grams of sugar, depending how tart you want it. So you could also add in things like vanilla or cinnamon or nutmeg, maybe a little bit of mint just to give it a bit of flavor. It won't last as long, the compote, um, but pop it in the fridge. If you've got people coming over at the weekend, spoon it over yogurts, anything like that. It's just less sugary. So let's see how to do it. All you're doing, you're getting your saucepan, you're putting it on your scales. So it doesn't matter how much fruit you've got. You don't have to have 500 grams of something or 10, you know, or whatever. Whatever fruit you've got, and that right here I've got... 340 grams of raspberries, if I had them black currants, if I had rhubarb, if I had anything like that, I would just mix them all together if I'm making a compote, just make a mixed berry. So I know that I need about 34 grams, between 34 and 68 grams of sugar depending on how sweet I want it. Um, because I've washed the raspberries already, I gave them a little rinse, there's a little bit of water in there as well, so I'm going to turn that back to zero. Any old sugar, I'm actually going to put in 50 grams, there we go, 50 grams, a combination between 34 and 68, uh, there it is, and all you're doing is you're turning it on, oh, turn it on slowly to begin with, you don't want your fruit burning, um, and with your jars, I've got, I'm going to pop mine in a sort of nice little kilner jar here, if you're using this type of jar, I'm going to show you how to sterilise it, take the rubber seal off, all you need to do to sterilise it, give it a good wash, Pop it in a cold oven and turn your oven on to about 100 degrees C. Um, that will make everything really hot. It'll sterilise those jars just whilst that jam's cooking. It'll just need like 15 minutes or so um, and it'll bring everything up to temperature. Then when the jars are hot, the jam and the compote um, is all ready, you just pour it into the hot jar, let it cool down um, before you put it into the fridge. If you're using a jam jar, we've got loads of these, give it a wash, same thing, take the lid off and pop it on its side into the oven, turn the oven on to um, again 100 degrees, you're just bringing it up to boiling point, you're just sterilising those jars, make sure there's nothing that can melt and uh, when it's really hot, be careful, jam and compote are really, really, um, they can burn and they hold the heat for a long time. So once it's all done, pour them into there and uh, you'll have some beautiful berries and, and jams to keep. Super!